U.S. President-elect Joe Biden will bring many changes to the White House when he replaces Donald Trump on the 20th of January, including the number of animals. Mr. Trump doesn't have pets, the first U.S. president in more than a century not to have one. That was a break with a time-honoured tradition that has captivated the hearts of Americans. Barbara Plesasha has more. It's been a while since pets had the run of the White House lawn. Sonny and Bo make way for Major and Champ, the beloved dogs of Joe Biden. Say, Champ, you want to play golf? <laughs> well, where's the golf club? They'll join the ranks of White House animal celebrities, a long tradition of not always typical presidential pets, such as Rebecca the Raccoon in the Coolidge White House and Billy Opossum for Herbert Hoover. Teddy Roosevelt in particular stands out as an animal lover. His White House was practically a zoo. Right. Donald Trump stands out as that rare presidential breed uncomfortable with dogs. Feels a little phony, phony to me. In a category of her own is Pushinka, a Cold War gift from the Soviet Union. Historians ponder whether that factored into John Kennedy's caution during the Cuban Missile Crisis over Russian nuclear weapons. If somebody gives you a puppy, it's hard to wrap your mind around the idea of that person being evil or that person lacking humanity or, you know, wanting to drop a nuclear bomb on that person. So... So that averted, I don't know, <laughs> World War III? It, yeah, it's quite possible that Pushinka is the reason that we're sitting here talking in my backyard right now. <laughs> Whatever the political drama, pets have been a president's best friend, but also helped them connect with the American people. If you see the president, you know, walking his dog or rolling around on the ground, playing with his puppy, then it reminds you of what you do and makes him more likable um, in a way that just watching the president speak behind a podium isn't going to do. Dogs are the most common, but what else would animal lovers like to see in the White House? You know, I think it'd be fun to see a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> How about a hedgehog? <laughs> uh, maybe a cat. I haven't seen a cat in the White House in a while. The last cat in chief was Socks, but there will be another one, or so Biden says. The president-elect has promised to unify America in these partisan times. Maybe he can at least bring dog and cat people together. Barbara Platt-Usher, BBC News, Washington.